Hey everyone, so today I thought I'd film a five month puppy update. Tabitha was five months two days ago, so I thought it was time for an update. Now she's a bit wriggly, so I'm just gonna put her down, but here she is so you can see her. Um, and she's got some toys here to play with. <laughs> she, she's a very playful puppy. <laughs> and she really likes these toys, so I'm gonna leave her there. I gave her the noisiest one. If we just get started and let her play in the background, um, so first things first, so if you're new to my channel, Tabitha is my puppy, um, she was bred by me, so I've had her her whole life. She was a singleton puppy, so if you're wondering why she is so large, um, that is why. Um, her mum only had one baby, which was Tabby. We kept her, um, different reasons as to why we kept her, but there was a group family discussion and we decided to keep Tabitha in the family. So that's why she's here now. We now have five Spaniels ranging from the age of seven to five months being Tabby. She's about a third of the size bigger than our other two pups that we had at this age, but just in case you're comparing her to your five month old Spaniel, she's probably quite large. She is five months now and she is almost finished with teething, which is brilliant. Um, she was very bitey as a puppy. She's here trying to play with the teething toys. So I just thought I'd show you some of the things we use for teething. So this is an olive wood chew and she absolutely loved this. See, she took that off now to go and chew. The olive wood chew really helped with stopping her biting our hands and um, helping dislodge some of the wobbly teeth. So she absolutely loves that and she's had that for around five weeks now and she's been chewing it ever since. Some things aren't recommended for puppies under six months but if you know your puppy and you can sort of feel how it is with the teeth, as long as you're careful you should be okay. So she's now off chewing that olive wood chew, that's how much she loves it. Um, we also use the yak chews, she loves these as well. Um, again, I don't know if they're recommended under six months of age but as long as they're monitored and you like make sure you're watching them while they're eating them, they're absolutely fine. So these are the Himalayan yak chews and these have been a staple as well for teething. Also the Nyla puppy bones, as you can see she has devoured the end of this one. Um, she loves the Nyla bones. These are also a staple, I think she has about seven of these now and that has really helped with teething. Also I don't have one to hand but frozen flannels, so just a regular face cloth that you normally use yourself, uh, wet it, put it in the freezer, as well as frozen watermelon slices. So we had a heat wave last week and it was really, really hot. So we froze some watermelon slices for all the dogs, but it really helped with uh, Tabitha with her teething. So she has got pretty much all of her adult teeth now. I'm not sure, I can't remember if they do lose a few more later on, um, but when she bites you now or mouth you, it doesn't hurt half as much as it did when she was a puppy. So she's definitely got more adult teeth and the biting has massively reduced. So because she's a singleton puppy, um, we were, we've done a lot of research and apparently singletons um, have trouble with frustration and with that they will bite you. And she was more bitey than all of our other puppies, but we just tended to swap out for yak chews, swap out for Nyla bones, but she was more bitey than any of our other puppies comparing the two. She is around 10 kilos, which is quite large for a five month pup. But um, as I said, because she's a singleton, um, she never had to share the milk bar and she was always large when she was growing, uh, when she was going through her milestones as a pup, she was always larger than um, the average pup. So um, she is now the same weight as her mother. Um, her mum is two and a half and she is ten, uh, five months. Um, but we are just monitoring her health and um, as long as she's healthy and active, we don't have anything to worry about there. We do think she will be a bit bigger than her mummy. Um, but that's genetics anyway. She's just chewing away there on her Nyla bone. So um, the next thing is her coat. So her puppy coat has well and truly come in. If you can see, she's an absolute fluffy monster. Usually um, they aren't quite this fluffy. And when we've gone back on photographs of her mum, she wasn't this fluffy. Um, she's definitely matured quicker than any of our other pups have. So if you can see, she is very fluffy. It is lovely and she's like a little cuddled teddy bear. Now's the time for us to start brushing her regularly. So she gets a brush every now and again, just to get off the loose hairs. It won't be ready for hand stripping just yet. Also her face is quite fluffy. She has quite fluffy sideburns and she has quite fluffy eyebrows. So her grooming is probably gonna take place earlier than all the others. And obviously I'll document her grooming because my mum does it. She is being brushed regularly, having her claws trimmed regularly, um, but she hasn't had a full hand strip yet. Uh, the next thing is walks. Our walks have increased. So usually walks are five minutes 
for every month of age. So she's five months, so she should have 25 minutes of walking. However, sometimes you can go a bit over and do an hour. Um, she's had quite a few adventures, as long as they're in moderation and not every single day. She has been learning how to swim, and I'll insert a footage here of her learning how to swim with Auntie Maddie and um, she also went with Granny Flossie, she taught her how to swim as well. She has a lot more confidence than our other two pups at this age, um, our other two pups just started to go into lockdown at this age, so we've noticed a massive difference in her confidence as opposed to theirs. So swimming is one thing that our spaniels absolutely love, especially Maddie and Flossie, so that's something we really wanted to encourage uh, Tabitha to do, and she's really enjoying it, so that's great for us. Happy to meet dogs on walks. She's slightly nervous of children, but that's understandable because we don't have any young children around us often and um, she has met young children but she is just a little bit more apprehensive which is fine that is something we will be working on um, in the next few weeks making sure she's around lots of children making sure that they can stroke her um, with her feeling comfortable she's come to sit on my notes are we making sure we're getting all our notes correct Tabitha you're so lovely um, training wise we've also been doing recall because when she's been off swimming she's been off lead are you playing? Are you playing? Hello. She is such a playful puppy. She's absolutely an absolute angel. I couldn't ask for a better puppy. So when she's been swimming, she's been off lead, so that counts in for recall training. Um, she's great. If you want her to come from the garden, um, she'll come in to a name and be rewarded with a treat. Um, same again on a walk, so we start in the garden. We have quite a big garden anyway, so recall um, is quite away from the back of the garden. And same when she's off, off lead swimming, uh, call her name, <coughs> treat when she comes back to you. <coughs> She's also really great at sit and down and paw. Um, the only thing we're working on this week is weight. Um, she doesn't really like to wait, especially for photographs. Um, she'll wait for about three seconds and then she'll dart off. So this week we are working on weight. Um, but she's got sit, she's got down, um, she'll wear a collar, she'll wear a harness. Um, lots of the things that you want a puppy to do, she's checked off, no problem. Or she can also do leave it, so if you throw the tennis ball and then say leave it, she'll drop it at your feet. Um, we don't use drop it, I don't know why, we always use leave it. Um, she's also great with leave it if she's took something in her mouth that she's not supposed to have. Leave it and she'll drop it on the floor. Sleeping. So she's still in a crate and she sleeps from 10pm till 8am in the morning and that's with no accidents. She comes out in the morning, she has a breakfast, she has a wee and a poo and she's absolutely fine. She sleeps all night and we don't hear a peep out of her but she has done that since she was around 7 weeks old. Um, she's a very good sleeper. She does sleep in the same room as her mum. Um, but not in the same crate. This last few weeks we've noticed she's starting to bond a lot more with the other dogs because obviously at the beginning we have her mum so she was very much attached to her mum um, but these last few weeks she's been playing with her auntie Maddie, she's been playing with her granny, playing with Uncle Bear and she's now become an individual dog more than Matilda's puppy um, which is really nice for us and that we now have five individual dogs. The last thing I've written on my list is meals. She was still on four meals a day and we've just now <coughs> She's got a little bark, if you haven't noticed. We would now start reducing her meals to two meals a day, but she does really need that lunchtime meal, um, especially if we've been on a walk, if we come back, she is hungry. Um, so what we're going to do is just start slowly decreasing that uh, middle meal and making the two either side bigger. Um, but she doesn't have an issue with eating, she eats every meal. But yeah, so we're gonna slowly start reducing to two meals, but at the moment, we're not too concerned. She's a good weight and she's healthy and she's very active and yeah, she loves her food. If you're wondering, our puppies are cold press fed on Guru Pet Food, and I can leave a link down below if you're interested in the food, um, but she loves it, she's been on it since birth. Treats wise, she has pretty much everything that the other dogs have, so she has venison sausage treats, she has carrot, um, watermelon, we've been trying new things, and she actually likes a lot more things than our other dogs do. She loves strawberries, she loves banana, um, there isn't really anything that she won't eat. Our last two pups weren't very treat orientated, but she definitely is, which really helps with training. We haven't enrolled her in any puppy classes like we did the other two pups. We haven't had any interest in doing so. She is meeting a lot of dogs on walks, a lot of dogs within our circles. Um, so we're not too concerned about socializing and training. She's doing everything that we want to do at the moment. So. We haven't decided to enroll her in a puppy class just yet. So I think we've covered everything in that video. If there's anything else you'd like to know, please leave a comment down below and Tabitha will answer, won't you? Oh, just if you're wondering, her name is Tabitha. She gets Tabby and she gets B, um, but her full name is Tabitha. 
and we love her to bits, <laughs> don't we? She's so playful, she's so happy, um, she doesn't really have a bad day. There's not really anything bad we can say about you, is there, Tabs? She does like digging, um, so we have made her a sandpit, um, which has helped massively with the digging. She was digging up um, quite a few holes in the garden, and that has significantly reduced since including the uh, sandpit, but I do highly recommend a sandpit to puppies. It literally stops them digging, and yeah, it's great fun. Even the other dogs like the sandpit. She's a dream. She went to her first dog fest this year and met so many other dogs and was happy with all of them. So thank you so much for watching this update of Tabby. Um, like I say, any questions, leave them in the comments down below and I will be sure to answer them. Say bye bye Tabby. <laughs> bye bye.